Hi, Frank here for Yogomi, and I have here with me the Backbone Mobile Controller. This is really interesting because I remember when PlayStation Remote Play first started, or at least when I started using it, it was almost 10 years ago. And I remember when I played it, I believe it was on my PlayStation 3, and at the time I was using my iPad to try and play games. It was not a great experience. And I think 10 years ago also, my network and my internet wasn't very great at the time. But now that time has passed and a lot of things have advanced, I've got a fiber network now, and it turns out that the experience on PS Remote Play is much, much better. Enter the Backbone mobile controller. This particular one that I have is styled after the PlayStation. This is the PlayStation Edition. It's clearly made to look like the DualSense controller. And the thing is, is that it's just a backbone controller. It's not specific to the PlayStation. It'll also work on Xbox for like Xbox Game Pass. If you play on xCloud, um, it'll work with Apple Arcade, even Steam, I believe. So this is actually a very versatile controller. The only thing that I worry about is that I've played games on my Switch that were really designed for a big screen. I remember traveling once and trying to play a game and not being able to read like the text on the screen. So something to consider before you get something like this is that if you want to play games that were made for console and big screens, you might meet some challenges trying to play a console game on a very, very tiny screen. That's just something to consider. Overall though, I think this is a very cool device. They've kind of created a, an additional solution for playing on the go. For example, last year I had to travel for work. I had to go to New York City, for about three days and I was in the middle of an event in Destiny 2 and I didn't want to miss out on the daily events or any kind of weekly bounties or any kind of uh, activities that might help me progress through this certain special event that was happening at the time. So I just packed up my console and took it with me and played in the hotel. The console was my Xbox Series S and I actually had the upspec gaming screen for it. So it actually kind of worked out, but still it's not as small as something like this that's handheld and you can just pack this in your backpack or maybe even put it in your pocket. So the cool thing about this is that it's actually pretty slick. It's very easy to use. It's very simple to set up. The phone just slides in. The backbone sort of has a spring in the back that lets you expand the controller, fit your phone right inside it, and it closes up and fits pretty well. Now the version I have is the iPhone version for the iPhone 14 and older. It's got the Apple Lightning adapter. They do actually make one with a USB-C adapter that works with the iPhone 15 and Android phones. And from what I understand, you don't need to buy an iPhone one or an Android one. Once you put the application on whichever phone you have, the backbone's just going to recognize it and just start working right away. Now, speaking of applications, you do actually need to download a couple of applications. One of them is the backbone application and the other would be whatever gaming cloud or remote system that you would play on. For example, if you wanted to play Xbox games, you would download the Xbox app or the Game Pass app. Now for this video, I'm specifically talking about the PlayStation 5, so I downloaded the PS Remote Play app. As far as controls, here you see it's got the basic PlayStation triangle, circle, X, and square buttons, but it also has a couple of thumbsticks as well as a D-pad. It also has a button that lets you record your gameplay, which is kind of cool. 
So if you hold it down, it takes a screenshot. Another really cool thing is it lets you record unlimited 1080p gameplay at 60 frames per second. One of the things you will have to do is you have to allow the app to access your photos and everything to be able to save these clips and these videos. So if that's something that you're interested in, it'll save these clips and these photos directly to your phone. Now, when you're setting this up, you need to make sure that you have PS Remote Play activated on your PlayStation. Otherwise, it's not gonna detect it. This actually connects to my PlayStation pretty dang easy. The controller itself feels pretty good. Right now I'm playing Miles Morales Spider-Man and I gotta tell you, it actually looks pretty good. It's quite impressive. I was a little worried because the last time I did this, I played it on a very old system many, many years ago. And it turns out this actually looks pretty good. After so many years of playing since the Nintendo 64, I've come to rely on the rumble to tell me when certain things are happening. And if the rumble's not going, I think often that the controller is dead and needs to be charged, or I may not realize that I'm being shot at by an enemy or something is happening. For example, when I play certain games, they've really got it down to a science to where I can feel the vibration on the controller of, let's say, the Xbox Series X, and I can tell which direction this alert is coming from. For example, I could be getting hit by an enemy and realize that this enemy is behind me, and as soon as I turn around, I know that that's where it's coming from. I think it's a combination of hearing and feeling, but a lot of times the enemies are so far away, somehow they figured out the science to when I feel that vibration, I know which direction to turn in, which I think is actually pretty amazing. Now, that's gonna be missing on this, so that's something to consider. I'm really surprised how good this works, especially considering that when I used this 10 years ago, it was abysmal, very choppy. I wasn't even maybe 10 feet away from the modem and I wasn't getting very good gameplay at all. So I think a lot of this is due to a, a few things. First of all, these phones are much more powerful now and much more capable of giving you a better experience because of the power inside of these devices. Also. A lot of internet speeds are faster now. I now have fiber here in my studio. What I think is really the selling point on this is that it works across multiple platforms, Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, and apparently even Apple Arcade. If you're a fan of PlayStation and you want the PlayStation Edition, it's a pretty good looking controller and it's got the logo right here on the back. But remember, it's gonna work across multiple devices and platforms if you have them. Also, something really cool about this is it has a USB-C port, so you can actually charge your phone and play while it's charging. It also has a headphone port if you wanna plug in some headphones and you're not using wireless. So, I think it's a very cool thing. I think it originally came out for 100 bucks, but I'm seeing not only on their site, but across the internet, it's knocked down to roughly, I think, $70. Now, this is a pretty new one, so I haven't used it a whole lot, but I did hear that sometimes the buttons, after, say, six or seven months of play, start to lose their resistance and they become a bit more um, squishy. I guess that comes along with anything, uh, using it for a really long time things get worn out, you know? So overall, I think it's a pretty cool device. You download a couple of apps, you're up and running in no time. It connected very easily to my PlayStation 5, but I think that's more the PlayStation Remote Play app than it is the Backbone. This just gives you a way to play so you're not touching the screen. I am uh, quite impressed with how easy it was to set up and how great the games actually look. And I will say that even as I'm looking at the screen, I can read these menu items. And I do remember that my last time playing a console game on a handheld was on the original Switch, which we all know doesn't have a great resolution anyway. Um, does anybody have one of these? Let me know. I, I'm wondering if anybody has one and they're enjoying using it or if they've had any problems with it, let me know. I'd like to know maybe something to look out for as I continue to use this and test this out over the next few months. So, thanks for watching the video. I got more coming very soon, so I really appreciate you taking the time. See you in the next one.